What's up guys? It's your girl Chantel Inez and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to touch on how you can successfully get your CJO once you go to your face-to-face -face interview for your airline. Um, my last video was about video interviews, the pre-recorded and the face-to-face -face video interview. So if you are on that step of the hiring process, go ahead and click on that video. Go ahead and watch it, all my little tips and tricks, and then come back to this video to figure out how to get your CJO for your face-to-face. First off is what I start off with everything, wardrobe. Dress to impress. I know in my last video, um, I told y'all that it was only here and here because it's a video interview, but y'all know the face-to-face, -face, you're going into the headquarters, you need to look like a bag of money. So you do want to stick with your um, basic interview ensemble, your blacks, grays, blues, you know, you want to look this um, oriented. But I will suggest to my ladies and my men, um, I would try to stand out. I always say that the face-to-face -face is kind of like speed dating. And say that you are the person that's sitting down and you have speed daters coming. You see like with 20 people in a night and by the time the fifth person comes, you're not gonna remember them. But you will remember somebody whose outfit stood out. You're definitely gonna remember them from a room full of people and that's what I went in as. Um, my first video that I uploaded um, around this time last year, I had a video of the interview dress that I wore, but I will put a little snippet of what I wore to the interview. And it was just a gray um, plaited, little cute little dress, but it stood out. It stood out from what everybody else was wearing. Everybody else, of course, had on trousers, black blazers, blue suits, and I came in with this little throwback retro um, dress and I got so many compliments on it like cuz I kind of was like should I even wear this cuz I'm this is my personality to try to look a little different but I was thinking like mm, maybe no but one of the best decisions that I ever could have made um, I definitely think that dress and the outfit made me stand out and it just gave me more confidence in um, the whole interview process so that gave me a boost of energy so if you want to keep it simple keep it simple but if you are that person with a big personality that just want to do a little something different now don't go in there wearing a green suit well i say that but that could be cute I'm going there being crazy but show your personality and start with your personality in your wardrobe because that right there shows your personality and i know y'all know i'm big on showing your personality in these interviews but when you come in what you're wearing is you if you're picking something out and you think this shows who you are wear it and it's appropriate wear it if it's not appropriate don't wear it don't don't go in there with some crazy stuff on saying that i told y'all to wear that because i did not <laughs> i said be different don't be crazy just um put a little pizzazz into your outfit and i promise you that will start the momentum of your day and you will feel great um in the face to face it really is just a big party um for lack of better words it's just it's a big ball of energy when you walk into that room and you just see everybody that's in your position everybody just so passionate and really wanted to get that job it's gonna make you a little nervous but literally y'all got this that face to face you want to walk around owning that room you want to introduce yourself you want to be on your piece and cues because you've made it this far from the generic interview questions. Why do we need to hire you? Why do you want to become a flight attendant? This face-to-face -face interview is literally solely to see you as a person, to see how well you work with others, to see how you will blend in to the staff, to see if you will be a good fit for the staff. This is what that face-to-face -face video is solely for. So go in there ready to show who you are. Back to the working well with other people. The face-to-face -face interview, like I said, there are gonna be a lot of different people in there and you are going to just working with each other um you don't want to be the person taking over you don't want to be the person to know it all you don't want to be the person to just take over the whole thing because being a flight attendant we work with 
people every single day, work with different people every day. It's not the same person on each trip. So you need to be able to work well with different personalities. So when you are put to the task of working with others, you never want to be the person overstepping or taking over anything, but you also don't want to be the person that's falling back behind and kind of letting everybody else do everything for you. So you want to be a good medium, like a very good medium. You want to be assertive, but you also want to fall back and be able to be led by whoever is in charge. And so I can definitely say that's a good tip for when you are um, doing your face-to-face, -face, just learn how to be a good medium. You know, they say all good leaders were good followers first. I think that's how, y'all know what I mean. All good leaders know how to follow. So you wanna go in with that mindset is, you know, I, I, I'm leading, but I also follow and I can also be the middleman if needed. Um, the face-to-face -face interview process is pretty long. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're well rested. You also wanna make sure that you get a good meal, some coffee before you go, just to be energized. Cause I know it takes a lot of people some time to wake up. It takes me um, about an hour to actually wake up. Like I could be up, but it takes me an hour to actually wake up. But a good breakfast, good cup of coffee will start you on your day and you'll be perfectly fine once you walk into the interview. I know one big thing that everyone always wants to know is about tattoos. And um, of course, during the video interviews, doing the online interviews or whatever, you didn't really need to do anything with their tattoos because nobody could see you. For the face-to-face, -face, you will be in front of leaders, um, executives, you'll be in front of other flight attendants. So you definitely need to make sure that all your tattoos are covered. Um, so just a little tip, I have a tattoo here, I have a tattoo on my feet, I have tattoos on my back, I got seven tattoos seven tattoos y'all none of my tattoos were shown during my interview none of my tattoos showed during training so that's because i covered them up and what i covered them up i used derma blend i'm actually going to show you guys all right y'all so for my tattoos i have the only excuse me the only tattoos that show are the ones on my feet and this one so every single day i put derma blend on Derma blend. This is quick fix body correction. A little goes a long way. I get this from Ulta and it's like $30 for this little bitty tube. But I swear y'all, a little goes a long way. It's like, you know, I get it in a color bronze. It matches perfectly. So if you have a tattoo and you are worried about it, you're worried about how you're gonna cover up, Derma blend. I promise you guys, I will swear by it. You heard it here from me. This is the best tattoo cover up, okay? Okay, and I don't want no more questions about these tattoos now. <laughs> so see, you can have tattoos, they just have to be covered up, and this is how you're gonna cover it, guys. All right. Okay. Another tip I can give from the face-to-face -face interview is answer the questions given. It sounds simple, but answer the questions given. Do not put in other extra nonsense when you are answering a question. So for example, um, your question may be, tell us your name, your age, and do you speak any um, other languages? So the correct answer to that question would be, hi, my name is Chantel Craig, I'm 26 years old, and I don't speak any other languages. What you do not want to do. Hey, my name is Chantel, I'm 26. I wanna learn Spanish. I did take Spanish in ninth grade, but I'm not fluent. But I do wanna learn French. And when I went to Europe, I was learning a little bit, but I didn't really know. So yeah, I just speak English, but I do wanna learn um, Mandarin too. That's not what those people ask you. And I promise you, they will sit there and be like, okay, she don't follow directions or he don't follow directions because it's not what those people ask you to tell them. They didn't ask you what languages you think you want to speak, what languages can you kind of speak. They asked, what languages do you speak? What's your name and what's your age? Do not overshare. I mean, that's like one of the cr most critical things about interviews. Don't overshare. And I know y'all are nervous. Everybody's nervous during interviews, but you want to it, it goes into taking direction well like i said um if they ask you a question specifically tell me this 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 and you said this this kind of this 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 you're off a topic 
you're kind of, your mind is going, you know, like that's just, it's, it's not a good look. So if they ask you what's your favorite color and your favorite food and what time did you wake up this morning? You need to say blue, cereal, and 8 a.m. Simple answers, don't overthink it. Just answer what they ask. I also wanna say, um, have some questions ready for the people that took their time out to come and do the interview, um, even though that is their job and they are a part of that team. But they did take the time out to come, inform you, interview you. So when it does open up for questions, you do wanna have one or two questions. Now, don't just be asking questions just to ask the questions because you wanna hear yourself talk. But at least have one or two um, important questions that you would want to know that you can ask because this is the time to ask too even though this is an interview this is a good time to get to know the company that you are working for and get to answer any questions that you know you've been trying to search on the internet for the time being you couldn't find it that would be the perfect time to ask your leaders and your um, future peers the questions that you have for them I touched on this in the last video, but STAR method, guys. Situation, task, action, and result is how you want to answer your questions. Still, in the face-to-face -face interview, you wanna answer your questions in that manner. So you wanna give this um, STAR method. Again, STAR method, guys. STAR method. Look it up, learn it, remember it, figure it out, and answer all your questions in the STAR method. Also, touching back, core values. Delta has five core values. Respect, honesty, integrity, perseverance, and servant leadership. I know in my last video, I could not remember the last one, but it's from servant leadership. So those are Delta's five core values. Um, and I'm pretty sure every other company has their core values, but you definitely wanna go in knowing the core values and picking at least one or two of those core values that you can easily work into your answers um, for the interview. So yeah, guys, that is what I, the last thing I wanna send you off with. Congratulations for making it this far. Y'all got this, I promise. Go ahead and follow me on YouTube. Um, comment any questions, any more questions that you have down below. Um, I will be making another video. It's not gonna be a double video like this one, but I will have another video out soon about the pay scale of a flight attendant and roughly about what you can see our finances being um, at the end of the year because I know with me and especially a lot of other people, um, at first flight attending can be a pay cut, a big pay cut. And I know that um, some people struggle during their first couple of years. So I do wanna give y'all a good insight about what you can expect your pay to be. It differs from other airlines, but with my airline, I can let y'all know roughly how much I made between my first year and a half. Um, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and stay tuned. Again, congrats so much for making it this far. I feel like a parent, I'm so nervous for you guys, but I know y'all got this in the bag. Follow me on Instagram and um, let me know your next steps if you have your cjo um let me know if you have a face-to-face -face interview coming up let me know thank you guys so much again for watching i hope to see all of y'all in the sky soon and if you're gonna work for my airline pick detroit okay detroit 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 thank you so much for watching this video go ahead and subscribe to the channel and i'll see y'all in the next one